Hey guys, Killing Dead Six here, and welcome to Bending in the Ink Machine. It's a horror game that's been that came out about a week ago, and um, it asks me to um pay at least a dollar or download the game. I would have donated for the game, but you see, I'm a poor. I have no monies. It's all sad. But apart from that, let's play this game, and I really have some good expectations for this because. This is really different, because most of the horror games are usually somewhere dark and somewhere gloomy, o ominous. But this seems like it takes place in something cartoony and classic. One of those really old type of stuff. Dear Hangry, seems like a lifetime since we worked on cartoons together. Like, 30 years, really? Slips away, doesn't it? If you're back in town, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. Your best pal, Joey Drew. It's got a little bee there. All right. Click on continue. Oh, that's so cool. It's got its cute little loading screen. Chapter 1. Moving pictures. Alright, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. You can actually hear, like, the, um, cartoon music. Hmm. So this must be Bendy. Really nice and cartoony. He's got those, uh, Disney gloves. Hmm. I hope Disney doesn't sue these guys, because honestly, Disney pretty much buys everything. And if they buy Bendy in the ink machine, oh boy. Oh, they won't like this. Oh, it's a little Bendy toy. Hmm. Maybe this is where I have to go. Guess not. Ah, here's the ink machine. So this is the ink machine, huh? Wonder how you turn it on. Hmm. I guess if there's subtitles. Yeah, here we go. Hmm. There must be some sort of switch mechanism here. It seems to... I don't know about you, but I think it's missing a cog. I think. Seems to be leaking. There's a lot of these bendy cutouts around here for some reason. I don't know why that is. Oh, there's a little tape recorder. At this point, I don't get what Joey's plan is for this company. The animation sure aren't being finished on time anymore, and I certainly don't see why we need this machine. It's noisy, it's messy, and who needs that much ink anyway? Also, get this. Joey had each one of us donate something from our workstation. We put them on these little pedestals in the break room to help appease the gods, Joey says. Keep things going. I think he's lost his mind, but hey, he writes the checks. But I tell you what, if one more of these pipes burst, I'm out of here. So, um, we're in some sort of demon workshop. That's cool. I hope. Ah, this must be where they do all the animations. Where they, um, showcase them before they're put in public. Can't, you, I can't blow the ink switch. So there must be something else. Maybe there's a main switch somewhere in the building. I just have to find it first. Maybe it's in here. Ah! Um... I turned off, um... Maybe there's a bulk in, There's a broken bulb? Yeah, there's a broken bulb. Should've seen that one coming. What the hell? Oh my god. Joey, what were you doing? If I am not mistaken, he must have been appeasing the gods. Who's laughing now? Not me, obviously. Hmm. Oh no. So who's this? Boris the Wolf. 
Hmm. I like it. All right, how do I get this to work? Hmm. Well, according to the recording, it said that I had to collect items, and then I can turn this stuff on. How about we check the uh, items first? Let's see, there's uh, Inkwill, uh, a musical note, a doll, deja vu, a book, a wrench, and a gear. <gasps> oh, who put this here? No one, apparently. Okay, maybe I should check in here to see if I can find any objects. Well, I know it's not one of them. Seems to be a fair amount of ink running through this place. Hang on, what's the settings here? Oh, it's on high. Put it on medium. Well, I'm trying to keep the performance nice and smooth here. Hey, there's a music disc. Okay, I'm guessing that's for the musical notes. But I'm going to need to find a wrench and some other stuff too. Maybe if I find them... Oh! Book! The Illusion of Living. Is that something demonic? Or is it just me? I don't know. Ooh, no. check around here. There's a lot of bloom dynamic effects in this game. I'm really impressed. A jump. Oh, whoops, I forgot my glove. Because if you um, ever saw my episode of Tattletale, I wore a glove so I couldn't sweat on my computer. I must have forgotten about that. Just trying to do the video. Right, on with the venture. Hmm. It seems to be. I'm not sure how they get the look to turn out like this. It must be some sort of wallpaper on every single area. Gotta look for something around. We gotta check every single inch of this area. There's nothing there, there's nothing there, there. Ooh, cog. Okay. Now I need... Maybe I can put them... Oh, no, wait, that's an item for the um, pedestals. Is this door open? Or it can turn off. Yep. Oh, boy. I am enjoying this a lot, aren't I? Here we go. Oh, it's so cute! Hmm. Hmm. Is it just me, or is this starting to sound a little bit more demonic? I gotta find. Hey, here's my old desk. I wasted so much time in this chair. Really? You don't have like an office or? Hmm. A bit weird. Okay, I've got a wrench. What else do I need? Ah. Uh, oh, a quill. The ink stuff. I don't see any there. No, I don't think I recall picking anything up here, either. Maybe if I look hard enough, I better find some... <gasps> ink! Yes! Restore ink pressure! Okay, that's all. Now I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Then I can start up the main power. Okay, so I can't... I have to find a... Ah! The ink pressure in the uh, theater room! I just need to go down. The fuck?
I don't think this was here before. And where's its cutout part? Oh, um... I don't think I was supposed to... Wow! You can really see a lot of bits and pieces in this map, huh? Okay, I don't think I was supposed to be here. <laughs> oh my god. This will definitely come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> 